morning, Bully Fam. TBK West back with another video, and today we are going to get a few things done. Let me see here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is this particular cage right here. I'm going to cut these wheels off. As you can see, they super rusted. Super rusted. Can't even fit the wrench in there. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, I've had these cages for about five years I think or longer I don't know I got them for about I think it was 260 each I had at least about 15 of these bad boys and I sold a, a lot, most of them right before I moved back to Houston uh, to, yeah moved back to Houston because you know I had already bought these bad boys so yeah man we're gonna chop these these off and I'm gonna stack it on top of this one, y'all, so I can have a little more room in here. Y'all see we getting a little cluttered. Yes, sir. Also, uh, what else we gonna do? Let me give y'all the names. Yes, I got the names, y'all. The, all the little pups, the new pups. So we'll run through that real quick. Uh, what else? I think we might possibly be getting some stuff for the show. And also, we got another AI from Mr. Landlord later today, so. Yes, sir. You know, it's the regular day at the camp, y'all. This is TVK West. Stay tuned. Let's get it. This is the drill I'm using, y'all. It's like it's nothing special. Nothing spectacular. I'm not even sure if just the right blade. Uh, don't try this at home, folks. Safety first, guys. Doing this, y'all, you might want to get you some uh, leather gloves because you're going to get a few ambers coming down. So keep that in mind next time. Uh, I just got these, so we're going to see if I'm out. We're going to see if these work. down three motor go there and that joker smoking enough there ain't it
tough one. So let me stack this bad boy up. Let me get a focus here. Nice smooth cut. So I stacked it up on this one. We're gonna hold it down with the zip ties and uh, I'll most likely put a, a puppy or two on the top cage, but yes sir, man. Let's see how I look, hold on y'all. Make sure you unplug everything. Got it, double stack. Like I said, I'm gonna use the zip ties on the back and on the sides so it don't slide forward or back. Save a little room, make a little more room, you dig? Yes, sir. Plastic off. Shit. You only need about two of these on each side, y'all. Like I said, just got Frenchies. My dog's not that crazy. I don't have to worry about them shaking the cage off the top making it fall. Still got these uh this blue crate stuff, the topping. Uh, depending how small the dogs are, I'll put that in there or not. But uh, yes, sir, let's move on to the next thing, y'all. All right, stay tuned. We're taking a quick little trip, man. I want to get, I want to make sure I got everything I need for this show. Um, just need to make a couple of stops. I'm about to stop at the post office right quick and drop this envelope off and then we're gonna get right to it, all right? And in the depot, y'all, about to grab some real quick. Gotta use the restroom real fast. 
Gotta get some of that artificial grass you put on the table when you got the show. I'm gonna try to get another chair if they're not too expensive. No money up in there. No, car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we already got one? Yeah. Hey, hold up. Hey y'all, y'all need one of these. I forgot to tell you. I was gonna get one from Walmart, but they got $5. Right here, I should get two of these. I already got two at home. You want one or something? Yeah. I want one of these. What's that? Massager. Look like some trash bags. Huh? Look like some trash bags. <laughs> oh, so much. Oh, we just need lights off for the show, y'all. Yeah, I know. Just walk straight. You tell want you one time. What is that? The Thank you.
My, my son buying candles. What you buying the candle for? So it can smell good when your friends come over, when your, your lady friend come over. <laughs> player, player. Boy trying to have it. What's that? What smell is What flavor is that? Aloha sand. Ooh, boy gonna have that Aloha sand when she come over. Okay. Another hundo. We just spent the hundo. Alright y'all. Got that good turf. This is what we're gonna use to put on top of the table at the show, man. This is a uh, you can only buy it in 12s, 12 feet, so this is a 2x12. So I'm gonna cut it in half to a 6x2 have two of them for Dallas because uh, sometimes you know the dogs may pee on these you can either wash them or reuse them but I don't know we'll see or maybe possibly somebody else at the show might need one or something or, you know. let's go in the house real quick and check out these pups so I can uh, get y'all with the update finally came up with the names for our girls these are our two keepers right here all right so who we have we got Venus and Serena Yes, sir. Venus and Serena, the twins. You can see they litter mates. My two lilac merles. Um, yeah, y'all, so we, we definitely got some names. So now y'all can uh, see we about to start giving y'all some updates on these puppies. This is uh, Serena because she's thick. And this is sister Venus. They both all-stars, they both pros, so. That's what we that's how we came up with the name, man. Alright. Let's get to the next pup. Alright, y'all. This this pup right here, this is a female. Her name is Seven. She was the seventh pup that came out the litter, out of the litter of nine. So that's how she got her name. Lucky number seven. Oh yeah, Trinity daughter. Like I said, in my personal opinion. I feel like this is the best pup, y'all. Just based on just, you know, how she's proportioned. You know, not too much head. You know, not too much body, compact. Yes, sir. Seven. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the last female was all blue. This is a blue trendle. This is Effie, y'all. Effie. If y'all watch the show Power. My son came up with the name. So this is little young Effie. Uh, this is uh, Sprinkles Time Blue Sun. Her paw is a little wet right now. She's playing in the water, but yes, sir. Little Effie. We got Venus, Serena, Effie, and Seven. One more, y'all. Stay tuned. Hold on. Yes, sir. Last but not least, we got my boy Ghost, aka Caesar, aka. TBK young boy. Oh, look at him. Yes, sir. It's my boy, man. TBK young boy is a blue trendle. As you can see, he is very compact. Perfect specimen. The true definition of a French bulldog. Yes, sir. Y'all take a y'all keep an eye out for TBK young boy in the future, all right, y'all? He coming. You coming for all your females. But yeah, y'all, this is my update on the females. We got all the names. So, y'all, like I said, y'all gonna see plenty of updates on these pups. And uh, y'all stay tuned to the next video. Let's go to the next scene. I ain't gonna go nowhere. All right, y'all, we in the whip. We on our way to do this second AI. Um, I forgot to tell y'all last time, um, <clears throat> The female was at a six. Uh, he uses the uh, the IDEX progesterone scale, so uh, females ovulate at about five on that on that particular test scale. So he started breeding at a six. Oh, I'm not sure what 
she could be at by now. But uh, we're gonna do one more. I don't know if he gonna skip or if we're gonna do it tomorrow, but yes, sir. Just wanted to give y'all an update on that, man. Oh. We be doing this at night because uh, my guy be busy during the day, so. Knock the breeding out, you know, when you, it's also better that you take your stud to the female too, y'all. You know, you bring the female to some different yard, a different environment. It's like, she gets uncomfortable. You want your female to be real uncomfortable. I mean, <laughs> you want your female to be real comfortable when you're doing the breeding, y'all. So it's really better if you can, if the stud can go to the female, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, y'all. Just knocking this out real fast. Can't wait to see what these pups look like. They're gonna be some. Oh, you know they're gonna be some heat, man. My boy. You know the color is locked in. The bone is locked in. You know, when you do a breeding like this, uh, you probably get you know one or two pups that are perfectly correct, like the perfect mix. You know what I mean? It's all a part of breeding, guys. It's all a part of, uh, you know, creating your vision. So, don't let anybody tell you about your vision, man. You know. Half the time, most of the people who, you know, speaking on what their vision is, it's, it's usually somebody else's vision, you know. They're just repeating some stuff they heard. So, don't feel bad, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Do you? You know what I mean? Stick to the script. Um, you know, do what makes sense for your vision, man. Straight up. But yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> we pulling up to the to the homies' crib, y'all. So let's see what we looking like in there. All right, y'all don't go nowhere. Come here, little dude. today This is Devil Spin the Yacht. This is Devil Spin the Yacht, seven months old. Princess Minority. 